So we're doing the stock valuation question from 2015 paper. So it's question 8A. So I've just laid out the basics of it. So we have four periods here. Uh, I start off with a certain number of goods. Um, and it says down the bottom here, opening stocks 5, 2, 6 each. So that's what the thing is actually worth. And we'll add the things I got in, the units I got in. We'll take away the ones I sold. And we'll end up with the opening stock for the following month. Okay. Uh, following, sorry, three months, following period. So I bought four or five, and they cost me six each. So the credit sales will be taken away. So I, for the first period, I sold 1,200 at 10 each. And the value of that is going to be this number. Um, and the cash sales is eleven hundred at uh, eleven each. So the open stock then is if I add all the units. together so 7,400 units so now um, when you want to work out the cost of those some of those units 7,400 that means so, uh, they're all going to be because all the goods I bought all cost six euro but if they would come in at different times and they had been worth different amounts the first load of goods I would have sold would be the opening stock so you'd end up with four or five times six plus whatever the previous the opening stock was originally worth but these are both worth the same, so that makes life very easy. So the open stock is worth that. So then we have our purchases. Okay, then we have our credit sales and our cash sales. So we bought two four. And we bought them for seven euro each. So this is going to make our closing stock a little more complicated later on. Our credit sales, two two. And they were 11 each. Cash sales then was one four. And we sold them for 12 each. So we're opening stock. So the opening stock in units. We're adding up all of these all the way down to there. So uh, we're 6 2. So that 6 2 is going to be made up of 2 4. Sorry, times seven, because we still have those left over. We never sold them. The ones, these three, five that we sold, <coughs> they would have all come from this opening stock. So we have all of this uh, minus the three, six, I think it is here, that we sold, taken away from seven, four. So that's where we come up with our value of them. Okay. So I'm not going to put uh, a specific number in here. I'm going to say some of these goods are worth seven. Some of them are worth six. So if I work out the value of it, um, I, I'd be able to work out the total amount of money involved. I don't need to work that out because it's actually going to waste time in terms of the question because I don't need to find that number. I do need to find the final closing stock though. So purchases then is uh, one four. And I buy them at six euro each. So we have a different figure again for how much these things cost. We have credit sales. I have cash sales. So credit sales is one four, and we sell them at ten each. And then the cash. 
Refresh sales is one six. And we sold them for 13 each. Okay, stop. Now we have purchases, credit sales, uh, cash sales, and we have close the stock. So uh, the open stock is um, six two plus one four minus one four and minus sixteen hundred so four six and some of those now these goods some of them would have cost six and some of them would have cost seven so we'll have to come to those later so I'm just going to put those there as a reminder so the purchases so I bought two six. At eight euro, uh, credit sales. I bought sixteen hundred, or sorry, I sold sixteen hundred, and I sold them at eleven euro each. And then I sold a further eleven hundred at thirteen euro each. Okay, so my closing stock then is going to be, in terms of units, all of those. So I had four six at the beginning. I bought another two six, so that means I had a total of seven two, and I got rid of two seven. So that's where that number comes from. So that um, package of goods is made up of three different amounts. So first of all, what do I have left? I still have the two six. Um, I never got rid of those, and they were worth uh, they were eight. Okay, so I multiply those uh, plus as well as that. So I have a total of four or five to explain. So as well as that, I have uh, some of this four six. So I need how many more? If I take two six away from four or five, I'll end up with um, two uh, two nine. All right, yeah, so two nine. So I have two nine further to explain, and that two nine is made up from that four six hundred. And that four six hundred now. So where where this four six hundred, where did it come from? Let's move back here and see which goods were comprised of this four six. So I um that four six would have included this last load of goods I bought in. So I've got two six which I bought here, the previous goods I bought which don't bring me all the way up to the four or five I'm trying to explain. So here I have 1,400. And how much did those 1,400 cost me? They cost me six. So I had two six, which is the last goods I brought in. And then I have the previous goods, which was 1,400 times six. Okay, and now I still have how many left? So if I, if I work that out, that's a total of 4,000. So I'm looking for the pre 500 from the previous load of goods, which was this load here, and they came in at seven. So, so 500 times seven, multiply those two together, and that's my closing stock. Most of the marks would have gone for that part of the question, because obviously it's long. Okay, so you have to, Pair trading count for the year ended, so we have sales So the sales, where am I going to get the sales numbers from? So I'm going to add all of my sales so I'll add the 1,200, um, let's see, I add 1,200, and that, uh, so that's the cash sales credits, so 12 grand, 12 one. So I'll have that number, plus 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 that number. All of these are my four different, uh, 
periods with two credit cells each way. No, no, I did not. Sorry. Not. So twelve grand plus equals that number plus uh, that number plus that number plus that number. Uh, opening stock. So the opening stock is a 5-2 times 6. We already worked that out up here. So that's uh, 31,200. Uh, the purchases. So again, another long number. So my purchases. I have uh, this plus uh, this plus uh, this plus this plus this plus and then my closing stock just to figure out how to work out earlier on so if I add these two take away my closing stock And that gives me my gross profit. Okay, I hope that makes a bit of sense to you.